de ces 20 steps to prosperity is to be a giver. This secret was given to me by the Holy Spirit through a Papa word. And uh, for a lot of people who doesn't know what a Papa word is, this is a, the praying Apostle Patrick Antoine word. It's usually given to me during a time of meditation. And uh, everything starts with God desiring to provide a gift unto his children. Therefore, he created the heavens and the earth. And the Papa word said, The earth is the Lord, and yet he gave us the possession of it. All things were created for us to rule over, multiply, and enjoy. For it is his good pleasure to do so. And the Holy Spirit sent me to the scripture where God was giving the fullness of his creation to mankind. And we can read about it in Genesis 1 verse 29 to 30. Then God said, I give you every seed bearing plant on the face of the whole earth. And every tree that has fruit with seed in it. There will be yours for food, and to all the beasts of the earth, and all the birds of the air, and all the creatures that move on the ground. Everything that has the breath of life in it, I give every green plant for food. And it was so. This secret was revealed to me. And it is part of the book called 40 Secrets, The Path to Prosperity. God is a giver, and He wants us to be a giver. In this chapter, I was able to present who and how we should give to. And uh, I'm a Bold to present to you all the categories of people, organization that you may choose to give to. And you will see that in the book. I will not have the time to explain, to read for you the whole chapter. And how we should give. What should be our hearts when we are giving? And a scripture that I commented on, actually this book, it's not a book where you are going to have a lot of scripture and reference. I will glance on them, uh, you know, as the Holy Spirit was able to give me the words. And you will realize, you said, you may say, ah, this, this, uh, this particular thought process has to do with some scripture. And uh, one scripture that I use to prove a point is in Matthew 6 verse 1 to 4. Be careful not to practice your righteousness in front of others to be seen by them. If you do, you will have no reward from your Father in heaven. So when you give to the needy, do not announce it with trumpets, as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and on the street, to be honored by others. Truly I tell you, they have received their reward in full. But when you give to the needy, do not let your hand know what your, your left hand know what your right hand is doing, so that your giving may be in secret. Then your father, who sees what is done in secret, will reward you. As you can see, Jesus right there was telling people how they must give, not as the hypocrites. And I was able to talk a little bit about that 
in the book. You will see when you have a chance, you know, to buy the book and to read it. How giving can play a vital part of the prosperity process. This is a book that is, you know, that, that targets truly the person who are struggling with their finances, that would like to achieve personal success, divine prosperity. Yes, the circle of blessing must be maintained through giving. And if you do not give, what's going to happen to you, you will be pushed out from the circle. And in the book, I talk a little bit about that, how, you know, the law of reciprocity is done. And uh, in order for you, when you give, it's like you give, you, you orchestrate a chain reaction. And when you stop giving, guess what? You know, the, it's like a wheel. It's keep, it's keep moving. When you stop giving, they put you out of the wheel because you are slowing down God's process. And also, I, I was able to talk a little bit about that while referring to Luke 6.38, where they say, where Jesus said, give and it will be given to you. A good measure. Press down, shaken together, and running over will be poured into your lap. For with the measure you use, it will be measured to you. And I was able to, to present, you know, some aspect like when you go to work, you know, don't be the first, the last one to come in and the first one to leave. You have to give time. And this way they will see how dedicated you are and you will be promoted. You imagine yourself you go into work and you are not totally passionate with what you are doing. People will see that. They will see that you are trying to cheat the boss. And when you get fired, guess what? You are out of the prosperity process. Give your time. When somebody asks you, give them. And this is how God will be able to bless you even more. And you know, if they tell you, would you stay over time, even though you know the company is not able to pay you for overtime, stay anyway. Don't worry about that. And I was able to explain how giving allow you to stay in the circle of blessing. You imagine you meet a poor person on the street and that person asks you for a couple of bucks. Guess what? You represent during that time God. You are able to do so, but you said, ah, oh, this, you know, this, this few dollars, this few dollars they are better in my pocket. I'm not giving it away to nobody. Guess what? You stop the process. And God has to take you out of the circle. And what you did, you know, may cause you not to be blessed in the future. Because God said, why should I bless a selfish person like that? And give. It's very important. And, 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 and as, as the Holy Spirit, okay, how come the seventh secret is giving, be a giver, before knowing the purpose. He said, yes, by giving, God will see your heart and allow you to know the purpose. He said, the purpose is after that. I will, you know, go on LJ Twitter.org, follow. Every day there is a new secret being revealed. And it's not coming from me, from my heart. It's come from the Holy Spirit. And in the book, I am using facts of life to prove the point in every chapter. 
Because when the Holy Spirit gave me this, the, the word, the Papa word, he took me on a journey and, and, and you know, and he's given me, and he's giving me the sentences like, just like that, one after another. And you will be able to see the heart of God, how God loves you and he has a plan for you to achieve success, not to struggle in life, but to have everything that you need. Because in this book also, I reveal that, you know, this is a prosperous earth. You know, people are hoarding the wealth and not allow everybody to get their share. But if you are righteous, God will allow you to tap into hidden treasures of the earth. You know, there are some hidden treasures in the earth. You may not know about those things because of lack of education, lack of information. And all these things have been revealed in this book. Like last week, I talk about be a good example. This is the 17th secret. And I use it. And I said, be a good example. God said, start with this one. This is secret number 17. And then from last week, I started with one secret after another. And then an amen. I'm having such, a, such fun with this book. And also, I was able to, you know, present a scripture in a way that that is pleasing to you. Like Proverbs 18 verse 16 in this chapter. Where, you know, Solomon was able to say, he said, a gift opens the way for the giver and ushers him into the presence of the great. Amen, amen. A gift. Like, you know, when you give to an organization, when you give to the church, you know, guess what? When you, you know, you are able to be a part of what this organization is doing. And therefore, they ended up inviting you to give a speech, to do such a thing, to help them. Because when you give, when you give, opens the door for you. My brothers, my sisters, I want you every day, don't miss a day, go to LGHP.org, be part of this book process, where you will get practical, tangible, relatable facts of life about every chapter. And, and in the book, I'm able to illustrate the word given by the Holy Spirit. Do not be shy. Leave your comment. And if selected, it will be printed in the book with your name on it. When you leave a comment, that means you give us the permission if we decide to print it in the book. And, uh, and you can even use the book as a reference that, you know, my name is in this book about 40 secrets, the path to prosperity to other people and you said, oh, you go in this chapter, you will see my comment. Whenever you comment on a chapter, this is in that particular chapter that your comment will be represented, if chosen, because there are a lot of people that are saying crazy stuff and, uh, you know, if you are saying crazy stuff, you know, it's not going to be chosen. So, be a giver. This is the message. We're not telling you give to us, but be a giver because God is a giver and he created you to be like him. So let's go to the Lord in prayer. Right now I'm going to put my prayer shall so I can pray for the people. So I can pray for the people. Bear with me. My brothers, my sisters. Holy Father, we elevate your people before you. And we ask you to bless them. And especially 
so they may be like you, Holy Father, and be givers and not takers. Because when they give, they become like you, your hand extended. And this is why you are prospering us, so we may be able to do your work upon the earth. When they give, they are a part of your circle of blessing. You are obligated to bless them. When you say in your word, when they give to the poor, they lend to you personally. In this chapter of the book, they will be able to do so. Father, we thank you. We thank your Holy Spirit, your Holy Spirit for this secret. And we are going to apply it in our lives. We leave it those people before you. Some of them, they have money problems. Some of them, they have sickness. Some of them, they have family problems, O oh Lord. Father, restore their lives, O oh Lord. Help them. And I pray like this, in Jesus' name, Amen and Amen. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because He has anointed me to preach the gospel to the world, to heal the sick, to pray for the afflicted and reveal unto them the purpose of God for their lives. Surely, the Sovereign Lord does nothing without revealing His plan to His servants, the prophets. The Lord wants me to give you an opportunity to be a part of His movement through Lord Jesus' house of prayer. According to Malachi 3, verse 8 to 12, you can do so by sending your tithes and offering online or to the address listed on our website. All tithes and offering are prayed over, and whatever words the Spirit will bring forth, these I will report. And the Lord promised to bless you and to open for you the floodgates of heaven. Remember, we are here for you to help you turn your house into a house of prayer. Amen and Amen.